script is the most widely used alphabetic writing system in the world. It's the standard writing system of the English language and referred as the alphabet. The alphabet is used in many countries in the North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Oceania and some countries in Asia. Some sources state that the alphabet was derived from the Etruscan alphabet. The Etruscans derived the alphabet from a Greek colony in Italy. The Greek alphabet was believed to be derived from the Phoenician alphabet, which was derived from Egyptians' hieroglyphs. It's kind of like a chain reaction and these guys were the ultimate inspiration for all. The oldest Latin inscriptions were referred as archaic Latin alphabet and they do not distinguish between G and K. They were represented by C, K and Q according to position. It is because Etruscan language did not make any distinction. K was used before A, Q was used before O or V, and C was used elsewhere. C derived from Greek Gamma and Q derived from Greek Copa. G was invented later on. It was simply a C with an additional stroke. Here we see the archaic Latin alphabet and its modern equivalent. Notice some of the modern letters are missing here. Some of them are in different places. During the 3rd century BC, the Z was dropped and a new letter G was placed in its position. Until this time, the alphabet could have been written from right to left. The Etruscan and early Greek were also written from right to left. It changed after the 1st century. During his reign, the 4th Roman Emperor Claudius wanted to add three more letters to the alphabet. The first letter he thought was C with its reflection. It was thought to stand for CS and GS. The second was a turn F and it was thought to stand for V. The last one was half H. It was thought to stand for a short vowel sound, but its value is not clear. These letters were used when he was alive, but when he died, the letters were abandoned. After the first century, with the conquest of Greece, the letters Y and Z were adopted from the Greek alphabet. So the Latin alphabet had 23 letters now. This period is called as the Classical Latin period. Here we see the Classical Latin letters. The Latin alphabet spread from Italy along with the Latin language to the lands surrounding the Mediterranean Sea with the expansion of the Roman Empire. The eastern half of the Roman Empire including Greece, Asia Minor, the Levant and Egypt continued to use Greek as lingua franca but Latin was widely spoken in the western half of the empire. The western Romance languages like French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish and Catalan evolved out of Latin. They also continued to use Latin alphabet. The lower case letters developed in the Middle Ages. Since then, the languages that use the Latin alphabet have used capital letters to begin paragraphs, sentences and proper nouns. The rules for capitalization changed over time. Different languages have had different rules. When the Latin alphabet was adopted to Germanic and Romance languages, V proved inconvenient. W originated as a double V to represent the sound W. It was used in Old English as early as the 7th century. In the Roman languages, the lower case V was U. The capital U as a vowel was derived from this letter. The letter J was derived from I with a word final swash form. But this letter was not used as a vowel. Only the I without swash was used as a vowel. J was introduced into English for the consonant in the 17th century. With the spread of printing, several styles of Latin typography emerged depending on the region. In Germany, starting with Johannes Gutenberg, the commonly used typefaces were based on black letter scripts, a tradition that lasted until 20th century. In Italy, due to the revival of classical culture, the heavy Gothic styles were soon displaced by Venetian Latin types, also called as Antigua. There are different handwriting styles as well, for example, Roman cursive. It was used in the Roman Empire and in the Middle Ages. Secretary hand came into use starting from the 13th century. It was common in the 16th and 17th centuries for writing English, German, Welsh and Gaelic. Western Christianity helped quite a lot to spread the Latin alphabet. 
In addition to northern languages, it affected several Uralic languages such as Hungary, Finnish, and Estonian. Latin alphabet came into use for writing the West Slavic languages and several South Slavic languages as the people who spoke them adopted Roman Catholicism. Later, it was adopted by non-Catholic countries. Romanian, most of whose speakers are Orthodox, was the first major language to switch from Cyrillic to Latin script. It has also been increasingly adopted by Turkic countries, beginning with Turkey in the 1920s. After the Soviet collapse, Azerbaijan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan switched from Cyrillic to Latin. The government of Kazakhstan announced in 2015 that the Latin alphabet would replace Cyrillic as the writing system for Kazakh language by 2025. Thanks for watching. See you next time.